Home, The Living World Chapter 6 Growing Plants Time to Think Here are a few characteristics shown by living things. Complete the table by writing the names of some living things of your choice. Characteristics Living Things 1. Move 2. Breathe 3. Excrete 4. Reproduce 5. Respond Let us begin this chapter by reading a story. An emperor decided to appoint his successor. He called the young people of the kingdom and said, I am going to give each one of you a seed. I want you to plant the seed, water it and come back after a year with what you have grown. I will then judge the quality of plant that you bring. The chosen one will be the next emperor. Chang, like everyone else, received a seed of the plant. He went home and planted the seed and watered it carefully. He waited for his plant to grow but nothing grew. A year went by, everyone else had tall plants but Chang had nothing. All the young people of the kingdom took their plants to the emperor. Chang took his empty pot to the palace. The emperor entered the exhibition room and observed the plants brought by the aspirants. My, what great plants and flowers! You have grown, he said. Suddenly he spotted Chang at the back of the room with his empty pot. He told Chang to come forward and then announced to the crowd, Behold your new emperor. Chang couldn't believe it. He couldn't even grow a seed. How could he be the new emperor? The emperor said, One year ago I gave everyone a seed. I told you to take the seed plant it, water it and bring it back to me today. But I gave you all boiled seeds. My subjects, plants do not grow from boiled seeds. Germination of Seeds Most plants grow from seeds. Plants that do not grow from seeds reproduce from spores or their body parts. In the story given, the seeds given to the young subjects could not germinate because they were boiled. Why can't boiled seeds germinate? To understand this, let us know how a seed formed. Flower-bearing plants grow from seeds and are called flowering plants. Flowers are fertilized by bees and butterflies in the process of pollination. Pollination results in the changing of flowers into fruits. Fruits carry seeds in them. The seeds contained in the fruits are dispersed by animals, water, wind and explosion. Pollination, fertilization, flower changes into fruit, dispersal. Seeds are both big and small. Plants grow from a seed through a process called germination. A seed is a plant embryo with leaves, stems and root. When it gets the right environment, it germinates and grows. Embryo grows into the new plant. Seed coat provides protection to the baby plant. Cotyledons are the baby seed leaves that store food for the baby plant. Radical is the baby root. Plumule is the baby shoot. Favorable conditions for germination The seeds that the emperor gave to his young subjects in the story that you read at the beginning of the chapter could not germinate because they were spoiled by heat. Seeds can also get spoiled by rain and snow. At other times, if seeds do not get favorable environment, they do not germinate and lie dormant in the soil waiting for favorable conditions. Nitty gritty. A seed forms a baby plant called seedling. Take a break. In the following experiment, we will understand the favorable conditions that are needed.
for germination of a seed. Experiment Seed germination Hypothesis Seeds need the right amount of water, air and warmth to germinate. Label each seed's condition with the help of the clue box and write down which seed will germinate. Nitty gritty Mushrooms and other fungi produce spores that drop out of their gills. These spores fall to the ground or are carried by the wind. Seed Dispersal Seeds travel with the help of wind, water and animals. These are called agents of seeds dispersal. Some seeds are also dispersed by the explosion of the fruit. Seeds dispersal helps the seeds to get away from the parent plant. This prevents competition over space, water and nutrients. They travel to far off places and fall to the ground. Wind carries light, fluffy and small seeds. These seeds have parachutes, wings or feather like hair. For example, dandelion seeds and cotton seeds. Dispersal by wind. Dandelion seeds, cotton seeds. Water carries the seeds of water plants or plants that grow on coasts. These seeds float to other places and germinate in water or on the coast. For example, lotus seeds and coconut seeds. Dispersal by water. Lotus seeds, coconut seeds. Animals are also agents of seeds dispersal. They eat fruits and expel the undigested seeds at other places. Squirrels and other rodents bury seeds for winter. Some of these seeds grow into new plants. Seeds also have hair, spines or hooks called burrs that attach to the fur and hair of animals and travel to other places. For example, berry seeds and guava seeds. Plants such as touch me not, balsam, pea and geraniums spit their seeds by explosion. These plants have pods that dry up and burst in the heat of the sun thereby scattering the seeds. For example, poppy pods disperse by explosion. Poppy pods, dry poppy pods, poppy pod bursts. Growing plants without seeds. Non-flowering plants reproduce through their body parts and spores. Rhizomes, bulbs, corns and tubers, underground stems that bend in the soil and form new roots. Potato is an example of a tuber. It has swollen parts called buds. These buds can be planted in the soil to grow new plants. Bryophyllum produces tiny plantlets along the margin of leaves. These fall to the ground and form new plants. Ferns and other non-flowering plants like mushrooms reproduce from spores. Man has developed more methods for growing new plants. These methods are called artificial.